Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Brushes and Bunnies, and in this video I'm going to talk about three ways to fill your sketchbook for when you have no motivation. I just want to start off this video by saying that I've been sort of MIA from my YouTube channel over the past week. I bet some of you realized that I did not upload a video on Sunday as I was supposed to. I was planning on doing the how to draw lips tutorial and I filmed it, recorded it, and I was just not happy with the outcome. So I ended up sort of giving up. Um, there's a couple of reasons to this. Another reason is the fact that I was completely swamped at work and just totally exhausted. I actually had to prepare a conference and provide two trainings and travel across the country to give these two trainings to a bunch of people and I'm just totally exhausted from this event. I'm finally back in Berlin however, I came back a couple days ago but ever since I've been back I've just been too exhausted, too tired, unmotivated, just really not in the vibe to draw anything. I thought it'd be a good idea and probably a little bit of fun to make this video on talking about the three ways to fill your sketchbook for when you have no motivation because I'm currently in that state and I've been just trying to find a way to just dive right back into my regular routine that was broken for about a week. So the first tip I can give you is basically allowing yourself to enjoy and to have creative freedom. There are many factors to this statement. The statement is a little bit vague, but I'm just going to talk about the physical aspect of allowing yourself creative freedom. And that is to essentially just draw loosely and draw with materials that you're comfortable with and or materials that will not allow you to erase, such as ballpoint pen. I think that ballpoint pen is a great medium to work with because it allows yourself to basically create quick sketches and it also helps to open you guys up to the possibility of making mistakes. Just on the topic of making mistakes, just knowing that you're going to make mistakes, you cannot erase it, whatever you draw on the paper is the final thing. There's a sense of freedom to that, and I know it sounds kind of intimidating, but it really isn't. After a couple ballpoint pen sketches, you're going to get into the motion of just being open and being loose and just wanting to create these quick sketches in the ballpoint pen, and it's actually a lot of fun. So this is a really great exercise just to do when you have no motivation, is to just focus on quick sketches and also use materials that you're either comfortable with and or that are quick to use, uh, easy to use, and also no mess is involved. It's just pen. There's, there's going to be mistakes, but that's okay because you're just practicing and you're just opening yourself up to the idea of drawing. The second tip is drawing your own original characters and or drawing portraits from reference photos. This is a really nice exercise that I love doing on a daily basis when I am drawing and it's something that really helps especially if you have no motivation and you also have the issue where you just don't know what to draw. In this case what I really like to do is either explore this whole original character kind of topic or I select all these photos that I find on Pinterest or DeviantArt and just draw the people that I see. I try to draw portraits and I also practice it in my own style. So this is a really good exercise to not only just allow yourself to practice human form, uh, human anatomy, proportions, but also to kind of push yourself into the style that you want to and practice that style or practice different styles. So this is a really good, um, a, a really, really good exercise to do. And it's especially great for when you just don't know what to draw, just the, the fact that you have reference photos that you have on your, on your computer, on your cell phone, or in books, and the concept is just already there, or the subject is already there, and you just need to practice that rather than think about, hmm, what shall I do for a background, or hmm, maybe I need to do something completely original. Just in this case, it's just a sketch in your sketchbook, and you're just practicing what you or you're just practicing to draw what you see and this exercise is great and it also just completely allows you to forget about the pressure and the stress of having to come up with a whole big concept for a sketch or for a painting. So definitely try to practice this, it does help me a lot and I could not uh, recommend it enough. Tip number three is a really fun one, and that is to participate in drawing challenges. So 
I, throughout the year, there are a couple months where there will be a really popular drawing challenge for the upcoming month of May, that is Mermaid, which is essentially every single day you need to draw a mermaid character. And there are of course drawing prompts that you can follow, like each day there'll be a specific topic or theme that you need to draw the mermaid with. And you can find the official calendar to this, I will link it down below in the video description. And before you ask, no, I will not be participating this year because in May, three weeks out of the four weeks of May, I am on holiday, I'm in Ireland, and I will definitely not be drawing as much as I normally can. So I'm not participating this year. I really wanted to, but probably going to uh, try it out next year. So what you see me drawing now is actually a mermaid character. I've never drawn a mermaid before, but it's actually a lot of fun and I would definitely recommend that you guys try out this upcoming challenge. May is right around the corner and it's a really good way to get into a drawing routine and also draw things where the concept is already there for you, where you know you have to draw a mermaid and you also have a prompt or a theme that you need to do with the mermaid. So in terms of creating the mermaid, that's totally up to you, but at least you have an idea and you don't have to think about a drawing idea before you get started. What's really fun about these drawing challenges is that you can do it in any way you want. So you can do it in your sketchbook, you can do it as an actual painting on watercolor paper, for example. Um, I think that if you wanna just do something casual and you're a beginner, sketchbook is the best idea. You can do it with any medium you want. You can incorporate it together with different mediums like mixed media. In this case, I did pencil, uh, the uh, fine liner, and also some watercolor and gouache a little bit in the background. So it's up to you how you want to do it. No one's judging you. It's totally for fun. You can also up upload your final pieces on Instagram and use the hashtag mermaid or mermaid2018, I think. I'm not so sure, but all of the instructions are on the mermaid website. So I hope all of you are participating. If you are, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear if you guys are joining this year. And if I follow some of you, I probably uh, will see you on Instagram. So I'm quite excited to see what everyone's going to be doing this year. It's gonna be really fun to follow. But this is pretty much all there is to my video. It's a really short one today, um, just because I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of things. And yeah, I have to pre-record a bunch of other videos before I go on vacation. So yes, the drawing lips tutorial is coming. I just need to reshoot it and refilm it. So I'm hoping for next Thursday, it's going to be live and uploaded on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And I do apologize for missing out on the upload on Sunday. As always, I do want to wish you guys a very fantastic day. Keep being awesome, keep drawing, and yeah, go fill in those sketchbooks. Bye!